God and good people. Rain isn't the only relief families are getting in Dewey County today. After a week of massive wildfires, the Oklahoma standard was on full display as help rolled in from across the state. News 9's Jesse Mitchell rode along with a convoy of hay. Pottawatomie County ranchers have spent the past two days gathering truckload after truckload of hay, and this is just the beginning. Okies helping Okies. You know, that's just the way Oklahoma is. This is just one of the many caravans of caring citizens looking to help their fellow man and animals. But it's all just uh, local farmers that had it. And I mean, we got from 10 bells from some people to 60 bells from, from the one person. Early estimates of cattle lost in the Ray Fire are already in the thousands, but vastly more are alive and hungry. Over the past week, nearly 290,000 acres have gone up in flames, leaving scorched and barren fields behind. You look at the map of it, it's Satan, and the Bible says uh, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Frank Meyer is a volunteer firefighter, but on day two, the front line arrived on his own property. It was a hard decision to make, but at that point, I had to come home and take care and prepare for it to be here, and it ended up here. Locals are grateful to the donors and truck driving volunteers who are now pouring in to help them recover. It's so hard for us to accept any help just like every rancher because we think we can do it on our own. Tammy Stotts is counting her blessings after her husband Leroy barely escaped from the fire with his life but they lost cattle, horses, cats and still haven't found one of their dogs. There are so many that lost so much more because we still have our house. We still have our barn and we still have our vehicles. These farmers will continue to need help in the weeks and months to come. To find out how you can connect, click on this story in the News 9 app. On the scene, on the story, in ceiling, Jesse Mitchell, News 9. And News 9 is partnering with the Red Cross to help out the victims of the devastating wildfires in western Oklahoma. We hope you'll tune in to Healing the Heartland. This telethon airs next Tuesday, starting at 7, right here on News 9.